What up? I'm excited. I was just editing my Wix video that I just posted. And, um, <clears throat> well, I haven't posted it yet, but I'm about to post it. And I've been sitting here thinking, yo, I want to make my third wick happen. And I know I didn't film my other ones, but now I'm going to film this one because I feel like I do want to add another wick here. And I want it at the nape of my dreads, which is right here at the back. So these are the dreads that I've chosen um, because it aligns with this other wick right here. And then it leaves one in the middle that's going to be loose, which is actually the dread that got the mold on it. But I'm going to, I'm going to start congoing this up right here. These ones specifically, um, because I want the other wick to be on this side of the, my head to make it even, um, the ones that I've grabbed here are actually going to form a flat wick, I feel like, which is what I want. I want to actually aim to get this one big and flat. Uh, and how many dreads do I have in my hand right now? I have one, two, three, four, five. Five locks that I'm now going to combine into one right at the back of my head. I have a pack of rubber bands that I'm going to be doing it with. And essentially, it's going to go to town. My God, what is that noise? Essentially, I'm just going to go to town, putting these on my locks. And essentially, I'll, I just put them up like this. So someone's cooking upstairs, and that noise is driving me nuts right now. Um, the one downfall I'm finding out this basement is that I get to hear noises that can ruin my focus on my videos which is part of the reason why I want to kind of get a studio space that's in its own location so I can just kind of be uninterrupted with some stuff. But regardless, uh, I'm putting these on here right now. Um, one of them right up at the root, and then I basically just work all the way down the dread until they're all together. So say goodbye to these locks. I'm gonna try and congle these ones up for the next five years of my dreadlock journey. And yes, I am trying to get to 10 years of hair growth with these dreads just because I've never had that goal before ever reached with my dreadlocks. My last set only got to like seven or eight years. And after seeing Yo Baby's dreads, wicks that are almost down to the floor, I'm feeling like, yo, I can make it to that length. And it seems more manageable to make your hair long to the floor like that with wicks because there's fewer dreads kind of flying around. So. Um, the way that I'm seeing it is I've grown these freeform dreads for five years already. For my next five years, I want to combine as many of them as I can into just bigger dreads uh, and see the transformation. So, you know, that's why I'm starting to mess with doing wicks by myself here. Uh, it's, it's part of the journey, um, you know? I do like to experiment with, with hair, with dreads, and seeing how they form and how they do over things, and over time, sorry, and, um, you know, partly I do this for you guys because not everybody has the hair or the patience to do this themselves, so I'm acting as a form of like a conduit for you guys, showing you that sort of content and progression inside dreads. So I feel like six months with these in, these, are, these rubber bands in here will be enough. Sorry, I'm watching the screen as I'm doing this so I can actually like get these in here properly. Um, I feel like six months will be enough with these rubber bands in here. I may start changing them out over time if I see buildup or something starting up on there. But it's weird because I know like, most people or some people don't need necessarily need to use rubber bands to do this. They have methods they can do it without rubber bands, such as threading or crochet hooking. Uh, this is the only method I know. 
I don't really want to th sit here and thread anything together. I don't want to sit here and crochet them either. So rubber bands, just because of the texture of them and that it's not metal and it's not, well, you know, it's hard because I don't know. I just feel like putting metal in my dreads. I don't like it. There's this thing that Rastas say where they don't use metal as much as they can. They say it's a product of Babylon. I don't know if rubber will go for the same effect as that, but it's, it's still not a natural product. So it's probably not as good anyways. But if this doesn't work, then I'll be honest with you, I will go to the crochet method and I'll figure out the crochet method on getting these um, ends to, to lock up. Because I'll be honest, the rubber band method does work for the roots. Now that these are all together and the new growth starts coming in, it does lock this part a lot easier. But I'm I've been having trouble with these parts really coming together. And you know, I just, we'll see. I guess we'll see after six months, six to eight months. I'm guessing more like eight months it's gonna take for them to really take. Um, this being January 22nd today, we'll see by my birthday in the summer how much this lock has really come together. So uh, people in the comments remind me that uh, you know in August on my birthday, remind me on my birthday update, August the 3rd, that you know we gotta check on all my wicks and see if they are locked up. Now I know like some of these wicks have already been uh, rubber banded now for a few months already. So, but I will check on them all in eight, in eight months from now. And, uh, and now that I have my third official wick going in, it's time to, it's time to really start tracking the progress, the process of them. Uh, when I put these rubber bands in, I'm only doing it a double up. I'm only doing it twice. I'm not doing it too tight. Uh, maybe these ones at the end might actually get triple, tripled up. Yeah, these ones will get tripled up here. But yeah, that's basically it. And now that one's done. I got my third and final wick installed. I've left the tip to these one of this one open just so I could remember the dreads separately. This one, I wouldn't mind it, keep getting it, getting it to close up. So I'm gonna add one more on the end of the finger at the fingertips here so that we have a difference in this wick versus the, the, the other wicks that I have. You know, let's try and form them differently here. Um, yeah, something like that anyways, whatever. Uh, I find that palm rolling actually would be a, a, a benefit to getting these to lock up together. But yeah, officially now you can see the, the wicks that I've got. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got one here, and this one has formed at the root pretty good already. And then we got this one here, which is located pretty much right beside it at the back there. I guess I'll show you like this. And then my third one now is right here. And honestly, it feels like I could probably fit a fourth one over here. Oh, sorry. Over here somewhere. So it, I would have four big ones on the sides, but I feel like three is enough for now. Um, I'll be honest with you. Um, first thing, let me show you these. This one, this one, and this one here. I feel like there could be, oh, did I miss a dread there I was gonna put in there? I did, shit. I was gonna put, no, that's fine. It's fine like that, that's a good one there. I feel like one of these could have gotten, gotten in there.
Yeah, this dread could go in there. That dread could go in there, but whatever, it's too late. I've already done the deed. Um, I was gonna say something about going to Florida and doing an interview with the Wick lady. Uh, we've been in this talks about this um, and essentially, I think I wanna ask her to do a wick on my dreads. So I've done these three. Uh, I'll get her to, to do the fourth one somewhere using her method, right? And then we'll compare, we can compare the differences. And you know what I do? I do honestly slowly wanna start getting thicker dreads because I love thick dreads more than anything now these days. I've never had super thick dreadlocks. These are the thickest I've ever had. And I feel like, um, I'm not gonna start from the beginning and grow new thick dreads, so I wanna make these ones as thick as I can uh, while they're still here. And while I'm still halfway to my 10 year goal, I have five years to get nice thick dreads by the time I'm 10 years in, right? And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. Super excited. The way these feel right now, it actually feels kind of weird having this new dread over here, but this new wick over here, but it's gonna, it'll be fine. It'll get down. Um, I, and, I'm, and I'm wicking these bottom ones because they're less noticeable than me wicking the tops and the sides like this where they're gonna really see it. So at least these ones at the back, you can kind of hide a bit easier. But yes, three super thick dreads coming into play here on my locks, making something new for you guys. And the third one, brand new and shiny right here. Some super, super thick dreads coming into play for the nation. And boom, check out this thumbnail right here for the video. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out, one love. Happy and natty. Every time. Peace. Madadan, Madadan, Sikadan, Madadan, Madadan, Sikadan, Madadan, Madadan, Sikadan,